Hi, I'm in the old garage lab, which is, well, no longer a lab. It's just some um, shelving and uh, stuff. But um, here's the latest addition to our um, effectively passive house uh, that we've got now. Because we've slowly been uh, upgrading the house with double glazed windows and with uh, better insulation and, and extra, you know, ceiling around uh, the windows and doors and stuff. And we're effectively like a passive house design now. And the latest thing where we've just got installed, just installed like an hour ago, is this uh, heat recovery and ventilation system. So it's a whole house heat recovery system. So what it does is there's a heat exchanger um, inside here. So this is a Brink. Uh, leave it in the comments if you've uh, used one of these. Uh, apparently they're very popular in Europe. I believe it's uh, made in the nether regions. Hi to all my viewers in the Netherlands. Um, it's the Flare 400. The 400 is the uh, airflow uh, rate uh, for it, I, I believe. So yeah, like you can get different uh, size models. I think this is the second biggest one they make and it's basically a, a bunch of giant fans and a heat recovery uh, unit. I'll try and overlay a diagram of how the uh, heat recovery uh, process works but there's basically uh, two-sided uh, filters on this. We've only got the coarse filter um, at the uh, moment but we are getting delivered the one micron filter you can get like carbon filters and other uh filters for it but anyway so there's the specs for those uh playing along at home it comes in a right-handed and left-handed unit ours is the right-handed unit it just basically is how the uh vents are actually connected um physically up the uh top that's it it's got nothing to do with the door on the front actually um so there you go our average power consumption i haven't measured it yet but 31 watts so of course we've got tons of uh excess solar and uh battery of course to uh do this anyway there you go um in staphorst i'm pronouncing that one incorrectly i'm sure but uh yeah apparently these brink units are uh the duck's guts on on top here um so yeah here's the little uh diagram on top for the so this vent here is for air coming from the outside this vent here is uh, for the exhaust air uh, going out. So it'll extract all the exhaust air from the bathroom, from range hoods and stuff like that. Um, you know, stale air, it'll uh, extract it, uh, it'll send it outside. So this is internally in the house, uh, coming from back in from the house and then back out to the house. Um, hence why it's got um, two filters on it. So this one over here, uh, is for the this is where we have to install the one micron uh, filter in and that will give us uh, one micron filtered air from the outside and this is the uh, outlet uh, filter so we'll just keep the uh, coarse uh, filter in there but uh, yeah there's nothing you can see you can just you can't see a whole lot in there apart from that's the uh, metal uh, like uh, grill thing for the heat exchanger like a hexagonal shaped or uh, something like that uh, heat exchanger uh, unit inside there but uh, yeah no, there's not much to see there and then we've just got the uh, seals here and we close our door and the whole idea of this uh, unit is well the primary uh, function for us is to give us uh, fresh ventilated air from the outside so we don't have to open windows and that's a whole idea with these passive houses. See the thing is if you've got your house uh, sealed up for uh, you know thermal uh, reasons you want to stay uh, warm or you want to stay cool and it's say it's stinking hot outside but you want you know your air stale um, this will give you your fresh air from the outside without having to open uh, the window. So instead of opening the the windows to your house to get uh, fresh air which of course will either let in either the hot or the cold air and then you've got to expend more energy in your aircon systems to heat or cool your house depending on what uh, season you're in um, uh, this thing just yeah allows you to completely ventilate your house without having to open the windows and thermally ruin your house by opening or closing your windows so it gives you nice fresh filtered air so it'll recover the heat and actually put it back into your house so that's why it's called a heat recovery and ventilation unit uh we've just got a uh, pipe down here that's just a uh, humidity um exhaust pipe so that just goes outside and that'll like drip just like an aircon uh drip pipe so we've got outlets in every house and uh bathroom uh exhaust as well so 
let's actually have a look at the screen here and see what we've got. Now, please forgive me, I have not um, RTFM'd or uh, learnt how to use this thing yet. Now, there are actual uh, connections on the back. This is a uh, receiver. This is a wireless receiver. We've got like a little wireless uh, transmitter that we can just change the modes uh, on it. Like if you go into the bathroom, uh, for example, and you want to, like you're having a shower and you want to boost um, the air extraction, then you can do that with a uh, just a remote control on the wall instead of having to come out here and go um, and you know fiddle with the main uh, control here. So um, this is uh, just the main control. So we can change at the moment. I've got it set to 200, but we can set that to 170, and that that's the uh, flow rate. Uh, the lowest one over here that is for if you go away, for example, but you still want to keep your house, you know, circulated with uh, fresh air, but you want to minimize the energy, everything else, so you set that, so, and, and you can set a timer for that, so, anyway, um, yeah, uh, most people will, like, leave it set to here, uh, for example, and it's, it's, like, I'm standing next to it, and it's, like, 35, 40 dB, maybe, I can barely hear them, I'm not sure if you're hearing that, but, of course, I can boost it right up to 340, what is it, cubic feet per minute, or something like that, but, it's still not that loud at all. And these vent outlets here, they actually screw off and pop out, which is really cool. So there you go. We can see down in there like that. So that's, that's really nice. So I like that. Put that back in and there you go. Okay, so what else have we got on here? Let's drop it back to 170, shall we? Let's go into the information. It gives us a whole bunch of stuff. Look at this. Uh, ventilation mode 8. I don't know what that is. Um, the airflow inlet uh, rate, 246 cubic metres uh, per hour. Airflow uh, exhaust, 255. Pressure, there you go. It's just uh, dropped down. So the ceiling on our house, um, I might have to do this at the end of the video if I can find the thing. We've actually had our house properly thermally modelled and they came and measured it, they stuck a big fan in the doorway, sealed it all up, and were trying to find all the leakage points of the house and everything else. The pressure at the inlet, uh, 75 pascals for all you pascal fanboys, uh, and the exhaust is 105 pascals there. And you can actually bypass uh, this, but the guy who installed it said we probably will never have to use the uh, bypass, that's just for more uh, exotic environments here in Sydney. Um, yeah, we probably won't need that. So frost uh, off, it's got uh, preheater, so, you know, we're not going to get any frost here really in winter. Sydney's pretty decent. Uh, temperature inlet, 22. Temperature to outside, 20. Uh, relative humidity, external, 0%. I don't know uh, why that's reading zero. Ah, oh, that'd be an external sensor, would it? I think. Have to RTFM. Temperature outside, 19 degrees. Uh, humidity at the inlet, there you go, 66%. Outlet, RPM, it's down at 1600 uh, RPM and the exhaust and stuff. So it, uh, that's pretty comprehensive. It does have uh, CO2 sensors, but I think you might have to plug those in because they've I've got it enabled and they're reading zero. So I assume that... Yeah, you've got to plug them into the back. There are various connections to the back as well as Modbus. Um, and they're the software versions that we've got. I won't ever touch it, really. So I've got filter timers and stuff like that. But uh, we can go into setup now, and <laughs> it's pretty comprehensive. Look at this. So we can change the flow rates. I don't know why we want to have different airflow. Oh, imbalance open fire. Imbalance permissible. <laughs> Offset supply. Offset go. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Comprehensive. Uh, yeah. Um, so that that's the bypass mode. You can do temperature dwells and outside and hysteresis and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, but we should never have to bypass the thing, I'm told. And frost protection. We probably won't need that here in Sydney, Australia. Um, minimum air, frost temperature, minimum intake temp. Yeah, shouldn't have to touch it. Filter message. Same number of days. We can start filter wizard. Uh, I don't know, I might do that when I get the, uh, when we get the one micron uh, filter for it. External heater, I don't know what the external, there you go, oh yeah, external preheater. So if it's really cold on the outside, you can actually um, put an inline heater in the ducting, in the inlet uh, ducting from outside. So you can preheat that, so if you've got extra solar um, that you want to dump in, you can like preheat, you know, probably useful for really uh, cold environments and stuff like that, I'd imagine. So the CO2 sensor... Um, yeah, don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's, yeah, only external. Uh, the humidity uh, sensor, you can set the sensitivity. Cascade, what's cascade? 
Uh, oh, if you've got multiple units. Um, you know, if you've got a massive uh, mansion thing, you might need multiple units in series because the uh, duct in might be too long or something. I can imagine that's what that's for. Uh, central heating, geo heat exchanger, they're all blanked out. I guess there's different modes, communication. Uh, yeah, I believe it's got Modbus. So, in theory, I don't know. Um, does anyone know if this can hook up to um, the uh, open source home assistant thing? Can it hook up to that? I don't know. We, we don't need to. We're probably just going to set this thing on and forget it, really. So, and signal output. Yeah, what sort of signal outputs? Uh, only filter off. Huh? Okay, so we have external contacts and stuff. Cool. So you can, you know, you can automate stuff until the cows come home, I think. And that's the idea. So, uh, what else? And standby. So there you go, a pretty comprehensive uh, system. I believe we can get like a Wi-Fi dongle that plugs into the USB here. Uh, don't know what that's for. Um, a service, service connection, maybe, firmware updating. Um, yeah, got no idea. Anyway, that's our heat recovery and ventilation system. Uh, let me show you what's up in the roof. Okay, so up in the roof, you can see there the inlet and outlet over there like that. And uh, gigantic um, double insulated uh, ducting. So this over here comes into this big uh, like a di distribution box. I believe there's some uh, magic happening. Oh, can I unscrew that? I think I might be able to. Uh, but yeah, this is the exhaust. Don't know if you can see the labels there, but yeah, we've got bathroom, uh, ensuite, yep, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I do believe that's the extraction. Uh, port and these uh, ducts here. He was telling me that they don't look like that on the inside That's just the outside inside. They have these super smooth antibacterial coatings um, on them um, So you know, they're so they're not ridged on the inside Otherwise, it'd have too much uh, flow resistance in the uh, ducts But they're yeah super smooth antibacterial and all sorts of coatings on the inside so super whiz bang apparently and this is the outlet uh, box here similar thing happening so our whole roof is just a snake in now with uh, all of these all these uh, ducts. So yeah, it's just absolutely crazy. So we've got an outlet in every room plus uh, all the exhaust uh, stuff in the bathroom. So um, yeah, <laughs> they've got lots of other ports on here. So let's see if I can open that th um, thing on the top. No, I tried. Um, that thing does not come off. It unscrews a little bit, but uh, no, I couldn't get it all the way. Uh, anyway, sorry. <laughs> if I can find an internal photo, I'll put it up, but otherwise, meh. Anyway, um, yeah, lots and lots of ducting. <laughs> it's crazy.